So we need to talk about carbon a little bit, because carbon is the key element for organic compounds, carbon and hydrogen. And why are there so many organic compounds? It's because of the nature of carbon. And we need to remember some general chemistry stuff. We need to remember covalent bonding. Remember, covalent bonds are where electrons are shared. So let's see if I can find some space to draw in here. So if we have a very simple compound. So here's carbon. Do you remember Lewis dot structures? We look on the periodic table, there's one right up here, and we see that carbon is in group 14. Some periodic tables label, label it as group 4A. That tells us that carbon has four valence electrons. Those are the electrons on the outer shell. So the Lewis structure for carbon has four dots. And then there was that thing called the octet rule. And these non-metallic elements are going to share electrons in a way that they fulfill an octet. So here's hydrogen. Hydrogen has one valence electron. It only has one electron. So carbon and hydrogen can share, each share one electron. And now the hydrogen, who is the baby of the family, he doesn't even try to get an octet. He's, he's going for a duet. He's going for two electrons. Okay. So hydrogen makes one bond with carbon, and he's good. Hey, I got my two electrons. I'm good. It's an electron. It's um, an energy stability deal. I, I tend to personify atoms. But carbon's over here thinking, well, I'm closer to eight because both of these electrons that are shared get counted by both atoms. Carbon now counts these two, three, four, five. Now he's got five. He's closer to eight, but still not there. And the hydrogen counts both of those. So he's got two electrons, and he's good. So what's carbon going to do? Carbon's going to look for somebody else to share electrons with. So carbon may come across another hydrogen with one electron, and they will share. That hydrogen now has fulfilled its duet. Carbon's getting closer. But carbon's going to have to do this with a total of four hydrogens in order to achieve an octet. Does that make sense? Is that kind of coming back to you? So now carbon is counting all of these electrons as belonging to it. Two, four, six, eight. So carbon has an octet, and this is a stable molecule. Carbon makes four bonds. So here, the carbon atom always makes four bonds. And that's because it has four valence electrons. So we will see this throughout the semester, that carbon always makes four bonds. It can do this in a couple of different ways. Like in this picture I drew, we can have carbon bonded with four other atoms. Carbon making four single bonds. Carbon can also bond with three atoms by making two single bonds and a double bond. Sharing two electrons with another element that's also sharing two electrons. But that's still four bonds. The double bond is two bonds between the same two atoms. We can have... Um, carbon sharing with two atoms by a single with one and a triple bond with another, or we can have two double bonds. Okay? All of these are possibilities, but carbon always makes four bonds. And the reason there are so many organic chemicals is because carbon can bond to other carbon atoms and make long chains. And the more atoms you get, the more possibilities for variation and the number of different compounds just skyrockets. It's really kind of unbelievable.